live from the Doxinator compound, well, live but not live from the Doxinator compound here in uh, northern South Carolina. It's time for letters, 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 letters. That's right, for the 3rd of, <laughs> the 3rd of August, the 3rd of August, 2019. Stay tuned for an important entertainment program. Uh, hi, Dave. Thanks so much for sharing my channel with your viewers. Um, yeah, uh, uh uh, bu 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 uh, thanks for and I love your feedback, Rome Town Girl. That's right. I featured her uh, in the uh, morning Saturday morning. We talked about some new to us channels, and uh, Rome Town Girl was. Uh, I think she's. I think her channel is really cool. So yeah, thank you very much. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you. Ooh, what are you guys doing, huh? What? What? Oh dear. All right. Oh oh okay. Yeah right. I got g -g 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 gold digger rights. <laughs> gold digger rights. Uh, here's a novel idea since the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, was started by Bobby, this cheap RV living Bob, and paid for by Bobby, and he's the one that gets he's the one that gets the permits. Yada yada yada. Why don't we let him decide where the hell he wants to hold it? Yeah. Well, why? <laughs> that's fine. I, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, I think. <laughs> Oh, I think we should at least have a little bit of input if people want, you know, a lot of people have been to both places, and if they want to throw in their two cents worth, it's a free country, and they should be able to do it. Oh, dear. Are you okay, champ? You all right? Sounds like you're throwing up. Uh, Ken C says we should have the RTR somewhere on Lake Mead in Nevada. Then taking a dip in the lake would be just a short walk. Hey, that would be pretty. You know, I think one of the things about the RTR is it's not really on a pretty pot part of land, right? It's out there in, you know, kind of, you know, it's just a big flat area. It's not gorgeous land, but it is close to quartzite. It's right off the interstate, so the access to it is very easy, and there is a lot of room there. But, yeah, I don't know. You know, you look at other, I mean, Bob has obviously done, Cheap Harvey Living Bob Wells has obviously done a lot of research, and he knows what he's talking about and if he you know there's got to be a reason i wish he would come on his little stream someday and just give us his reasoning why he's thinking about moving it over to anza borrego over there in uh, in california san bruno beacon writes the california haters are fun to watch not too smart but fun to watch yes we don't want to take one step into that liberal cauldron <laughs> all the politicians and you know in 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 California, are, are you know aligned with Los Angeles or San Francisco, and uh, and they're liberals, and we don't want to go one inch into California with our with our gathering. I don't know, man. You know, <sighs> I, I, and flips RV life. I like quartzite. He likes quartzite in Arizona. He doesn't care for California at all because it's it's a communist state that's in ill repair and. It, it, I guess its laws are in ill repair. Well, I guess, <laughs> whatever. Boom, bubble, bust, and repeat. Uh, Nate, the evolution van life guy, he sounded loaded up on Red Bull. How someone uh, <clears throat> wound him up and he just kept going and going. Yeah, <clears throat> he was. He had just been uh, hanging out with the cops. Okay, they apparently <clears throat> thought he might be a, uh, a uh, homeless person living in a van. They just wanted to make sure he was just somebody who was passing through wasn't going to be living there. And uh, he was like, talking, blah, 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 I wish I could stay longer and talk to the cops. It was so nice. They were very nice. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was like, whoa. Element <laughs> van life, not evolution van life. I know, I know, I know, I know. That music sounds horrible. Honky tonk. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, the guy who uh, made Crotchy thought of that music, okay? He's the one. Bruce Brunger there from San Jose is the one who made up those little beautiful kind of tacky little uh, intros and outros. And he's the one who picked the music. I would love to know if someone could link to like a full, is that a full song of some sort? It'd be kind of cool, huh? Cassie C says, uh, well, we were talking a while back about... Uh, how um, Dan Bell, yeah, I'm getting a little tired of another dirty room. I mean, he does the same thing. He walk, goes into a beat-up motel somewhere where you know it's going to be a beat-up motel because of the price and the location. And uh, then he just looks around and, you know, looks under the mattress, looks under the bed, looks around the toilet, looks, you know, you know, yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Anyway, uh, Cassie says that Dan Bell is pr actually providing an, a, a public service by 
getting disgusting motels shut down and preventing others from experiencing the filth. Each episode of Another Dirty Room costs him over $100. Costs him over $25 for two rooms to rent. <laughs> $100, really that much? for uh, two rooms and uh, travel fees. Yeah, you know, and sometimes he flies out to the area. Sometimes he, he did some uh, other dirty rooms from like Ohio and from Florida. So he's flying, renting cars and driving long distances. And he's got a camera crew pretty much. And he's got five or six people he's putting up. I mean, sometimes he goes in those other dirty rooms. Yeah, they're with five or six people in his group, and they're like put them in two rooms. I guess they're sleeping on the the cockroach ridden floors. I don't know. I mean, hey, you know, Dan Bell can do whatever Dan Bell wants to do, and if people want to watch it, uh, you know, I, one thing I think he probably should do is maybe try to shop the show around to some cable channel because they're always looking for lowest common denominator crap like that, and uh, he's producing it pretty good. N.H. Lieber's talking about the uh, the wandering man there, the guy down in uh, Tennessee, how he was house-sitting or pet-sitting, but there's cages of like eight dogs, at least eight dogs. Uh, N.H. Lieber writes, animal hoarding, that is gross. You couldn't pay me enough. The constant barking would do me in. I think what would do me in with all those dogs in cages would be cleaning up all the poop. Oh, and feeding them. I mean, can you imagine that? And then can you, do you take all of them out to walk? I mean, you can't take eight dogs out at once to walk, right? You have to do that. You can't leave them all caged up like that. That's cruelty. Uh, you have to have them out running somewhere. Um, that's, that is a, helica, a heck of a lot of work for the wandering man. Uh, Gus in a bus. He's Gus, and he lives in a bus, right? Uh, ha ha, 66% of your nomadic followers do not want to do not want to move from Arizona to California, i.e. the majority of those who voted are not nomadic, but they are static and maybe more likely couch potatoes. Well, yeah, anybody could have voted in that. Anybody probably, if you have multiple computers, you could probably vote multiple times. You don't have to be a nomad. It could just be that you like seeing people in courtside rather than uh, Anza Borrego. I don't know. Yeah, it's not a scientific poll, but I think... The fact that it's two to one in favor of Quartzite does at least suggest strongly that most people would prefer to have the RTR 2020 where it was at least in the same general area as 2019. James Rockford writes, uh, if you check out Living, uh, Living Free Mikey's newest video at the uh, 530 mark, Mike talks about who he is going to, um, how he is going to mount his GoPro camera to the opposite window with a suction cup base. I guess on, on the outside window, right, uh, with a suction cup base. How long will it be before the camera goes flying off the windshield while driving on the expressway, smashing through the windshield of the car behind him? Hint, hint, or, yeah, behind him, LOL. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if you're going to mount a, v a camera on the outside of your vehicle, a suction cup ain't going to cut it, right? The rain, the wind, the, yeah, no. Inside, maybe, but not outside, no. That's ridiculous. And finally, Todd writes, uh, it seems that Quartzite would be the perfect place for the RTR because of the big tent, that's right, the big tent where they have a, <clears throat> a job placement service and other service, social services for, for nomads and the helping local economy, etc., etc. But the BLM land, the Bureau of Land Management, uh, management does not like working with Bob. That's I don't know if Bob would agree with that or not, but we, you know he maybe should address that in one of his. He needs to address this. We need to start talking about this in his streams and stuff because a lot of people have a lot of questions. But anyway, Todd continues. Uh, Bob admitted that the RT at the RTR last year was not a good. That was not a prime spot for flooding, and but he had to settle on it, right? There was some rain there. They have a bunch of washes, and they the the one major entrance and exit place to the RTR last year almost did get washed out with some of the heavy rain, and that's kind of a scary thing because you need to have ambulance access. That's another thing you got to look for, because you know you're dealing with upwards of ten thousand people, and there's going to be uh, some ambulance calls. Somebody's going to have chest pains or something like that. They're going to fall, and it's got to be way that you know emergency services are nearby and can get in especially when you have a crowd of that size uh you know as long as it doesn't rain much in court set you're in good shape but uh i don't know is is anza borrego any different i mean i don't know what is the you know rescue squad service like over there he said it was only half an hour from a walmart so there must be some sort of town nearby <clears throat> all right folks
Yeah, that ought to do it here at the uh, the Doxinator's compound. Where'd the dogs go? Who let the dogs out? Where are the dogs? There they are. There's Jilly. Hi, Jill. And there's Champy Poo. They're having a good time. Yeah, they need to be out for a little while so they can do their business, you know? Yeah. All right. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I wanted to make a quick mention of the uh, stream this morning, the Camo Dave Super Chat. <laughs> Super Chat. Um, Saturn Dave stream. We had uh, some problems at the end. I don't know the uh, Wi-Fi, and that wasn't the Wi-Fi. I think it was something with YouTube, but the stream just kind of cut off there. But it was an hour and ten minutes into it, so I tried to restart the stream several times, but I just couldn't do it. But I thought, okay, an hour and ten minutes is long enough. So uh, there was a little bit of an abrupt ending if you watch the replay, but uh, there's nothing we could do about it. But thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. I really do. Thanks for being here every Saturday morning, especially on the West Coast, getting up early, you know, 6A, 6.30 or whatever. It's, uh, I realize it's not fun, is it? Is it? Is it now? Is it now, right? Yes. Oh, yes. All right, folks. Jelly says goodbye, right? You want to say you want to say goodbye to the folks? No? All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Vlog under. What? <coughs> yeah, okay, now you're saying it. All right. That's right. He just said goodbye everybody. <coughs> That's right. And send, send Dave money. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>